Hello, welcome to The Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. Today is Monday, July the 23rd, and today we celebrate the Feast of Mary Magdalene. And here is a lesson from the book Lesser Feasts and Fasts. Mary of Magdala, near Capernaum, was one of several women who followed Jesus and ministered to him in Galilee. The Gospel according to Luke records that Jesus went on through cities and villages preaching and bringing the good news of the kingdom of God. And the twelve were with him and also some women who had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out. The Gospels tell us that Mary was healed by Jesus, followed him, and was one of those who stood near his cross at Calvary. It is clear that Mary Magdalene's life was radically changed by Jesus' healing. Her ministry of service and steadfast companionship, even as a witness to the crucifixion, has through the centuries been an example of the faithful ministry of women to Christ. All four Gospels name Mary as one of the women who went to the tomb to mourn and to care for Jesus' body. Her weeping for the loss of her Lord strikes a common chord with the grief of all others over the death of a loved ones. Jesus' tender response to her grief, meeting her in the garden, revealing himself to her by calling her name, makes her the first witness to the risen Lord. She is given the command, go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my father and your father, to my God and your God. As the first messenger of the resurrection, she tells the disciples, I have seen the Lord. In the tradition of the Eastern Church, Mary is regarded as the equal of an apostle, and she is held in veneration as the patron saint of the great cluster of monasteries on Mount Athos. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose blessed Son restored Mary Magdalene to health of body and mind, and called her to be a witness of his resurrection, mercifully grant that by your grace we may be healed from all of our infirmities, and know you in the power of his unending life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.